Hello, I'm Alex, the illustrator. Welcome to my channel. I went to my dentist not too long ago, and they love to do this to me. They do this to me every time I go in there. They ask me about my YouTube channel. After I get done telling my latest updates about my YouTube channel, they're like, yeah, we have to ask you that because it always makes your face light up. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it does make my face light up. I love talking about my YouTube channel, not necessarily for the reasons that most people would think. I've, there's a whole story behind this YouTube channel. Back in July of 2020, uh, COVID had hit, uh, everything was on lockdown, nobody was going anywhere, but hey, I was content. I had my online game, I had my friend I, I met up with every night, and we, we played that game for 45 minutes. I didn't need any other social time in that. I didn't have to go to bars or anything like that. So I was perfectly content during COVID lockdown, but suddenly the server went down, and it's the server that I play on with this particular friend. Now, I do play this game on other servers, but they're mostly low-level characters in starter areas and... Frankly, I was just bored. It's probably like my 20th or 22nd character. And I, I was just bored with, with playing low-level characters again. So the server was still down. And then, what am I going to do with myself? I, okay, I'll read the book again. You know, haven't read the book since the movies. And what the heck? I mean, I've got time on my hands and it takes a long time to read. But I got through about the second chapter of Lord of the Rings. And I have... A fantasia. It, it, that's a that's an actual condition. That means you can't visually see what's being described on paper. I mean, I can I can read the words, but unless I have a visual history of it, you've lost me. I am totally not there. I mean, I an elf gets described and I see a blob in my mind. I just I do not see anything that looks like an elf or or anybody else for that matter. Unless I have a visual history of something, I honestly do not get it. But every time they mentioned a word in that book. The Brandywine Bridge. Hey, I know that. I know that from the game. I was starting to visualize things that I remembered from the game, and I was like, all right, that's cool. Uh, but Tolkien, pff, a lot of stuff does not get visually represented in the movies or in or in, in the game, for that matter. So, Or Tolkien talks so much about things that I don't remember from the game that I, I have a hard time remembering. Now, where was that place? Put the book aside. Pff, don't need the book. I found this really great narration by Phil Dragash, and I, he just... His voice impersonations were just tops, and I know a lot of people agree with me on that. His voice impersonations came from the movies, and they are practically perfect. Second week of the game server still being down. So go lay out in the sun, put some headphones on, listen to Phil Dragash, and you know what? Same problem. I cannot visualize the scenes. He can tell me in my ear, and it really helps that the voice characterizations are different because I don't hear the story either when I read. I'm listening to Phil Dragash go on and on. He's kind of putting me to sleep because, frankly, I'm just getting overwhelmed. I don't have a visual sense of what's happening in this world. And he can tell it to me, and I can hear the characters, and I know they're there, but they're formless. They, unless I can remember a scene from the movie. And really, the movie either skipped scenes, like Bear White's, or they they just weren't accurate to what was being said in the book. What do you mean? This character said that? I thought it was that character that said that. Well, that's confusing. That's a whole other issue all by itself. So... But on the on the areas that the were described by the game, as Phil Gregash is talking, I'm picturing the game in my mind, and I and I was laying there in the sun, basking, getting sunburned, and I'm thinking, you know, wouldn't it be cool if somebody just took these pictures from the game and just added them to Phil Dragash's narration, and then while he's speaking, I could see these pictures of the game, and then I would have the visual memory, and then I would immediately respond with, oh, gee, yeah, I remember seeing that, and it looked just like this. So that's what I started to do. And when I talk about my YouTube channel, that's why it makes me light up because it started up because I have a problem. You know, I can't visualize this stuff. I get so lost in Tolkien, it's not even funny because we went here and then we went there and then we went to the other place. And we were talking to this person and that person. Did you know how many people are in this story? So between all the people and all the places and the maps that just aren't there, I am so totally disoriented. By the time I get to the Council of Alrond, my brain is sludge. It's just fudge. Illustrating it, I was just amazed at how good the story actually turned out to be. Just because I can I can understand it now, I can comprehend it, I can see it in front of me, just, just as it is. Just as he wrote it, doing my best to illustrate it the way he wrote it, so that there's no missing pieces, so that everything kind of makes sense, so the body language that I would normally use to show excitement or pleasure or just talking in general, like I do. So I'm, I'm using body language in my characters because they don't have any facial expressions. They don't smile, they don't frown, they don't do anything. But they use their hands and they use them a lot. And you know what? So do I. And we have body language and, and the body language comes across in the the illustrations that I use. You know, I just, I'm really particular about 
how I how I put these all these illustrations together. So when my dentist asked me about my YouTube channel, and it always makes me laugh now. <laughs> She's done this to me like three times. I have another appointment coming up, which is why I think of her. <laughs> Talking about my YouTube channel makes me light up with tons of joy because I have a problem. You could almost call it a disability. I can't visualize, and this has just opened up a whole world for me. And I don't care if I have subscribers, and I don't care if I have money. It's not, it's never been about that. It has been about understanding this incredibly long novel that I can't visualize. And no matter what else I've tried, it just hasn't gelled for me. So yeah, I love this channel. People ask me, will I take it all the way in? Oh, you betcha. You know, I want to see what happens. <laughs> and I love just coming up with this stuff. This is me. Hi, I'm Alex. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching.